Good morning. It says I'm live. Hello, welcome. I'm Amy Opalowski, coming in from San Diego. And today is Yoga Sculpt. I'm gonna check out my mat, see if we can see it. And we'll get started in just about 10 minutes. Schmuckler, Emily Schmuckler from the Bay Area is the moderator. Um, Schmuckler, I have my phone if you wanna text me if you're on and let me know if my mat is okay. Good morning, everyone. So happy to be here. My fave thing in the morning, some yoga scope. Union, a muscle mind. Hello, Laura. Yay, a little bit lower. Even from right here, Laura. There's a little delay in response, so I'll just wait. But thank you so much. That looks good? Cool. Thank you. How about, um, Laura, thanks for doing this with me. I appreciate you. What about my head? Can you see the majority of my head? It's looking good, but just wanna make sure. Yeah. Yes, Allison, good morning. I'm Amy from San Diego, and today is Yoga Sculpt. One of my favorite things in the world, and uh, weights are optional. Um, Megan Pate gave me the best I idea to use laundry, laundry detergent, so grab canned foods, laundry detergent, anything you can get your hands on, that's a little weighted. Other great options, Heather Peterson from uh, Colorado is using uh, water jugs full of water. Amber from Orange County is using bottles of wine. So anything works if you want added resistance. And please know that added resistance is uh, not necessary. You'll, you'll get a full body rock and workout regardless. Um, so the chat function is enabled. Thank you for being patient with us as we were navigating through that. And then also thank you to Anthony and Heather who taught uh, yesterday afternoon and evening. Those classes are up for two weeks if you want to re-catch those. Do a C2 and a bodyweight sculpt. And then later today, after I teach, I'm teaching the bodyweight sculpt here in eight minutes, eight. And then at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, Adrienne, based in DC, is teaching some C2. And later at uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, Joel from Minnesota, my brother will be teaching body weight yoga sculpt. So today is a yoga sculpt. You can see the weights on my mat, weights are optional. Feel free to use anything else that you like. Uh, and yoga sculpt, um, yoga sculpt is such a great way to overload our muscles. And my sculpt today is a full body yoga sculpt. However, we'll, work, but we'll be working highlighting muscles that AB duct and your muscles that move your arms and legs away from your epicenter and muscles that bring your arms and legs close to your epicenter. So we'll be stoking those muscles, getting them lit, as Heather Holland would say. All right, and I have a question I would love to prompt and you can type it in, log in on your phone or computer and or internal inquiry. And uh, motivated by this, question myself, I ask you, um, what inspires your practice? Why do you practice and what do you practice for? I've been going deep with this question. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Um, why do you practice? What do you practice for? And right now, my practice, I, I was going deep in this inquiry. Good morning. It's HP. Hello. HP, Heather, glad that you're in the house. Thank you, from joining, thank you for joining us from Colorado. Um, what motivates my practice? And I am practicing right now for peace. Peace of mind. And as I use Yoga Sculpt and these wonderful online streaming classes, I'm allowing myself to stay in the, the heat um, for one more breath, one more rep, one 
more moment to actually feel what arises. And from there, I'm learning a lot about myself, my tendencies to want to grab water when I really don't need water <laughs> to distract myself. But I'm allowing my practice to highlight what I say no to so I can be present to what I'm available for. So why are you practicing? What are you practicing for? Please type in, I'd love to hear. Uh, mine is peace. Peace of mind, peace of essence of spirit. As, um, I personally navigate the challenge within myself and I know that we're all being pushed out of our comfort zone. So what are you practicing for? Take a few deep breaths with that. You're practicing for positivity and to feel good about yourself. Laura, thank you so much. The power of a positive mindset. Hello, good morning. I, you're practicing um, Marielle for yeah, yeah, self-study. Thank you so much. I appreciate your share. And what a great way to use your practice to learn more about yourself. Um, I, uh, we even get to use the weights overload to learn how we show up when we get challenged. Not only in the practice of our map, but also in the practice that we're all being asked right now to um, be ready at home to really allow ourselves to experience inner transformation at this time. So if you're just hopping on, you're in the right place if you're here for yoga sculpt, a fusion of vinyasa yoga and weight training together. And weights are optional. I got my weights on my mat, but you can also use anything weighted in your home, like canned foods, water bottles, even laundry detergent. Megan Pate from Encinitas, California reminded me of that. And uh, yeah, I love yoga sculpt because it's a constant, consistent, conscious action so we breathe in every exercise we marry it with a breath mindful transitions good morning schmuckler hey schmuckler i asked everyone the question and emily's my good friend from the bay she's the moderator so please ask questions throughout class she'll take care of you good morning amir thank you for joining us from dc um what do you what are you practicing for right now mine is for peace peace of mind peace of spirit allowing myself room for uh, what is present, room for not knowing, or room for ambiguity, room to feel sadness, room to feel faith. Any of those things, what are you practicing for? You're practicing for radiance. Thank you, Emily. I love that, that's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, happy Monday, everyone. Thank you. Rena. you're here for connection and for community and for pushing through the tough moments. Jai, Rena. thank you so much. Connectivity, intentional connection is so amazing. And it really is what's going to create that intelligence, that divine, that sacred intelligence to allow us individually and collectively to navigate these sensitive challenging waters we're all in so thank you uh yesterday i created a mudra for a heart hug i personally love and appreciate hugs right one of my favorite quotes is you need four hugs for maintenance eight for grow uh eight for so you need four for survival eight for maintenance and 12 for growth so lots of hugs hi courtney you're here for your body and to calm your mind. I love that. Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate that. Um, but I gave a mudra for a heart hug because I love hugging on the left side because your heart resides more on your left. So as you grab someone and you pull them in, adduction, so from abduction to adduction, because we're working on that in class, um, left side heart hug. So I created a mudra. So take your two pinkies and just latch them together. And today, as you're working through Yoga Sculpt and you're feeling the fire, you're in the challenge zone, practice connectivity, just like Renee taught us. Connectivity, um, you can use this mudra if you like. Mudra are, are great ways to embody qualities you wanna call upon, like connectivity. Good morning, Neil. 
Hey Neil, um, I know that you're up in Sacramento. Hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, what are you practicing for right now? What brings you to your mat? So many people from the Bay. <laughs> Here in uh, San Diego, it's almost 7 a.m. Mountain morning, Adrian. Hey Adrian, what are you practicing for right now? That's the question I'm asking. For me, it's peace. Hi, Tanya Amir from Pakistan. Good morning. Thank you for being here and welcome. Josie from UK. Good morning. Jesse Rogers. Hello from Colorado. Beth O'Reilly. Thank you for being here. I love you. Yay, so many friends. I'm practicing for calm, Adrian Jai. Thank you so much. Neil, you're practicing for connection and peace. Um, go ahead and begin to rub your palms together like this. And if you don't want to participate, no worries. And then as you feel the boundaries of your two palms rubbing together a little faster, feel the friction, yeah. And the friction creates heat. Do you feel the heat? Yeah. And when you have two boundaries that rub against each other, it builds that, that heat. And we have the opportunity within that friction to be present, to see what we're practicing for, what we're available for. And ultimately, we have old habits rubbing against new ways of consciousness, new ways of being. And on our mat, we get to use this as a, a boundary, as basically a test laboratory to be within whatever arises, to use the weights, to purposely, intentionally overload our hearts our mind and muscle, our whole body. And in that we get to um, unravel. And in that perceived breakdown, we, you, me, us, we uh, achieve a breakthrough. The challenge zone purposely sweeps us off of our feet. Sometimes it's literally knocking me on my knees right now. I, I, I feel like I definitely am in the breakdown zone. And in that moment, it is sweeping us off our feet and that will carry us to a new beginning, a new place. Um, that inner transformation and also um, the earth transformation as we all learn to accept where we are, learn and grow. So I love it. It's 702. We're going to start our body weight sculpt in just a few minutes. And weights are optional, everyone. I got the 10 pounders because that's all I kind of have right now available. Weights, you can relinquish your weights at any point in time during this 60 minute yoga sculpt experience. We'll end our experience with a seated or you can choose to lie down, a meditation, just an inquiry of turning in. And yoga sculpt, if you're newer to this, is a fusion. It's a marriage of vinyasa power yoga with weight training, resistance training together. Really mindful transitions. Um, once we start, we'll continue to go nonstop um, you in implementing the weights and feel free to take breaks. Just keep your head above your strong heart. And I'll offer a water break one time through class. Feel free to use water whenever you would like. Um, the invitation is to have fun and also Use the mantra, the inquiry of what are you practicing for to embody the mantra of one more breath, one more repetition, and in that push, see what happens. See how you show up. So that's my the invitation from me to you. Um, if you're feeling the vibe, you can ch chime in. Emily Schmuckler from the Bay is here to field any questions that you may have. And also heart hug throughout the class if you want to embody connectivity. You can put a like, a thumbs up if you're feeling um, the, the vibes, whatever you like to do. Kishbu, yay. A lot of DC friends in the house. Kishbu, are you ready to sculpt? Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Yes, everyone joining us from the Pacific uh, on the West Coast, thank you. I know it's only 7 a.m. It's very early. My friends on the East Coast, it's about 10 o'clock. You're just past 10. Thank you for joining us. And anywhere in the world, thank you. Wherever that time is in the world, thank you for joining us. So Kishbu says yes, yes, and yes. So we are ready. Laura says ready. Amir can't wait. We are going to get started right now. So now 
with or without weights, weights are always optional, yoga, sculpt time. I'll start Emily the music and you can let me know down or up and I have my phone if you wanna text me sister so I can see it. Okie doke. All right, let's get this. Come on, come on Kishbu, come on Adrian, come on everyone. Join me on your back, constructive rest. Melt your knees together. Pull your feet to the wide edges of your mat. Breathe in, reach your arms up and overhead and wide. Exhale, good morning hug. Grab your right arm under your left. Grab your shoulder blades. Cup your hands to the inner border of your shoulder blades if accessible. Breathe into your ribs, your chest, your belly. Exhale, your belly, your ribs, your chest. Again, keep breathing, press even the pinky edge of your feet down. Full breath out. Inhale, open your arms wide, draw the soles of your feet to touch knees wide. Exhale, big hug other way, left arm under. Cup your shoulder blades. Inhale into your chest, your ribs, your belly. Press the soles of your feet together. Exhale, belly, ribs. Chest. Again, one more. Emily helps the music. Breathe in. You can text me, sister. Full breath out. Keep breathing as you tabletop your knees over your hips. Gold post your arms, elbows to shoulder height. Hug your legs together. Breathe in. Exhale, hover knee twist to the left. Hover your knees an inch above the floor to the left. Anchor your right shoulder lay down. Inhale, center, knees over hips. Exhale, hover, knees over to the right. Suction cup your left shoulder blade down. Inhale, center, this time option to kick your leg straight one line from hip, knee, and ankle. Exhale, hover, feet over to the left. Bend your knees as needed for support. Inhale, center, hug your legs like a panini. Exhale, hover, knees over to your right. Seal your right arm bone down. Inhale, center. Exhale, open your legs wide. Breathe in, exhale, high five the front of the room. And as you open your legs wide, press your inner forearms into your inner legs and press, keep pressing. Lift up a little higher. Ankle circles to open up through the joints of your body. Switch your ankle circles. Stay steady and consistent in your breath. Bend your knees, head down, and undulate your knees. Knees forward, wide, and big circles. And switch, pull your knees to the front of the room, wide, and then in. Keep breathing. Welcome to your Monday. Breathe in, grab the back of your knees, and slowly rock and roll the distance of your spine. Music is good so far. Heck yeah, on your third rock. This will come back later. Just hint, hint, hint. So let's rock and roll. <laughs> Cross your ankles. Let your hands downward dog. Pedal your feet. It's right heel, left heel, right and left. As you move, bank your fingers down the boundary of your mats. Push down. Wrap your upper arms in to highlight the space between your shoulder blades. Pause in the center. As you soften your knees and lift your sit bones up, for today, gently move your legs away from each other without moving them to turn on your outer hip, your outer leg. Take a breath in, roll your inner thighs to the back. Exhale, ragdoll, hide your feet behind your wrist, feet hip width. Walk your hands all the way to the right of your mat. Center, bend your knees as needed, all the way to your left. Option, bind your arms and like a ragdoll, sway side to side. As we turn on the heat, it's really important to distribute your effort. Take a little bit of effort in a lot of places to make it sustainable, to stay constant and consistent and committed in your conscious action. Breathe, pause, center. Cranial assist, weave your fingers and take them to the nape of your neck. Knit your elbows in and draw your elbows towards your chin. Bend your knees as needed. As you press your head into your hands, inhale, half lift your spine, keep your body. 
behind. Draw your elbows wide. Pull your sit bones back and your strong heart forward. Pull your elbows wider and feel as, as they move apart. How the back of your heart hugs together. Take a breath in. Exhale, stand at attention. Flood your hands at your heart with a soft gaze or eyes closed. Breathe. Commit to your practice and what you are practicing for. Stay in the bird and embrace the bird to find the blessing on the other side. Take a big breath in for one more breath, one more rep mantra. I'll take my socks off. Full breath out. Again, one more. Big breath in, full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Relinquish your arms by your sides with feet together or feet hip width. You choose. Inhale, mountain pose. Uplift your palms as you breathe well. Inch in your feet. Hug your legs together and apart at the same time. Breathe in. Exhale, cactus your arms, just elbows to shoulder height. Lift your sternum up your spine. Pull your front ribs in. Take a breath in. Mountain pose. Or the Hastasana. Wrap your arms in. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, bend your knees as you need. Inhale, high half lift, work your glutes and paraspinal muscles. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, modified side plank to the right, kick your right leg back, right arm up. Reach your right arm over, take a big breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow and hold. Plug your elbow to knee, roll your shoulder heads back. Inhale, get long. Exhale, single leg plank. Pivot forward, lift your left knee up. Pull your right heel high enough, flex your glutes. Inhale, three leg down dog. Lead with your glute and hamstring. Exhale, low lunge. Keep your hips up, heel first. Inhale, half lift. Step your left foot to meet your right. Draw your heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bounce and reach up. Exhale, cactus arms back back. Inhale, bounce. Exhale, often swan dive forward fold. Big breath in, half lift. Exhale, low lunge. This time, take your right foot back. Right knee down. Plug your right hand on your shoulder. Inhale, modified side plank. Breathe in. Stretch your left arm forward, right leg back. Baby ducked away to lengthen through your side body. Take a breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow and hold. Roll your shoulder heads back. Feel your oblique. Inhale, get long. Exhale, one leg plank. Drop your right knee up. Propel your left leg back. Lead with your left hamstring. Inhale, three leg down, down. Square your hips. Exhale, low lunge. Step up. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, pull. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified side plank, in the in and out, the in and out. Exhale, draw your knee to your opposite elbow. Pipe your front arms in, get long and pull in. Eight, that's it. As you pull your elbow to your knee, soften your face. Lug your left palm down for four, three, really keep your right leg long for two, get long, one, inhale, get long, exhale. One leg plank. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, power lunge. Commit, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, motivate your breath all the way in. Exhale, cactus, gentle uplift your heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive is an option. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot back, step way back. Right palm down, inhale, modified side plank. It's in and out, knee in and out. Exhale, exhale, roll your top hip slightly forward. Open your chest to the side. Push your air out as you crunch your elbow to your knee for eight, that's it. Soften your right elbow, pull. Dynamic warm up on this Monday, final four. Three, get long team, last two. One, inhale, get long. Exhale, single leg plank. Stay with me, Kishu. You've got to breathe in. Three leg down, dog. Come on. Exhale, 
exhale, low lunge, you got it in here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, thighs in parallel, reach your arms up. For less intensity, decrease the bend in your knees. Take your hips back and accept your weight to your heels and spread your energy through your toes. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane arms. For more heat, touch the floor. Reach your hands back, knees on your shoulder, hips open and close, big open and close. Down dog without weights and two, low and weights coming up, 
one. Relinquish your weights. Plant your palms. Inhale. Exhale. Down dog lifts. Get it. Inhale. Lift your heels. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. No weights for this one. Exhale. Fold. Grab your weights. Bend your knees. Inhale. Chair. Exhale. Chair. Plane. Launch your weights back. Pull your trucks. Inhale. One leg. Left leg lifts. Punch weights up. Exhale. Crescent airplane arms. Raise the shoulders and back. Star, raise the shoulders, inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior, two. Lap, pull in, inhale, reverse. Exhale, hold, pivot, plant, high to low. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, up. Inhale, spring your heels, flex your back, calves, exhale. Forward, fold. Inhale, half. Smooth your breath out, float. Bend your knees. Inhale, chair. Can you go deeper? Exhale, chair, airplane. Right leg lifts, inhale, one leg mountain. Open mouth, exhale, crescent airplane arms. Step into new territory. Weight to shoulders, inhale, start. Exhale, horse. Inhale, start. Push air out to warrior two. Lap pull in, inhale, reverse. Exhale, pull, pivot, plant. High ten cross body mountain climbers in. Right, left, right. Pick up your heart rate just a little bit. To customize, slow it down. Or just hold plank. For four, three, high plank in two, one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, comes up. Relish in the heat. Breathe in, lift your heels. Stay the course. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, no weights yet. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, team. Inhale, chair pose. Grab your weights. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Take your weights under your shoulder heads. Step your feet in distance. Reverse flight. It's up and down. It's up and down. Lift, lower. Action. Lift your elbow up to shoulder height. To stoke the back. Wings of your shoulder blade. Last four. You got it. Stay with me. Three. Two, one, weight to chest, you have one leg plank. One leg mountain, reach your left leg up. Side abduction with scaption, it's out and in. Out and in, exhale. With a soft bend in your elbows, lift your weights out to the side to shoulder height. Visualize your dumping out like pillows of water. Scoop the head of the inner weight head down. You can alternate this one at a time to take the balance challenge out. Take the left leg lift out. Four, that's it, stay with me. Three, two, one more. Weight to chest, one. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent, air bring arms. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Alternate chest fly, it's lift. And squat, upward fly and squat. Exhale. Exhale, scoop your weight up to shoulder height and diagonal to carve through your chest. That's it. Breathe. Every time you lift your weight up, feel your pack. Four, three, draw your jaw like that. Two, one more. One, inhale, start. Push air out, warrior two. Hug your elbows in, inhale, reverse. Exhale, pull pivot just to low lunge. Crop your weights up to candle sticks. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Shiva, hold. Accept all the weight to your right heel. Shiva with rainbow. It's lift, rainbow right, lift, and Shiva. Lift, rainbow right, lift, Shiva. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep your weight in your right Feel your left glute and your right glute. Four, three, low lunge in two, one, low lunge, bend your right knee, waist down. Inhale, three leg down, up. Shake it out, open your hip, bend your knee. Inhale, three leg down, up. Exhale, down, up. Inhale, mountain, feel the inhale, plank, feel the boundary of your mat. Exhale, forearm plank. Rise back up. Now up, up, down, down with four jacks. It's right, left, right, left, four, three, two, one. It's left, right, left, right, four, three, two, and 
one, it's right, left, right, left, four, three, two, one. Three. 
into your challenge zone. Four, what are you learning? Three, two, one. Hold low, take your left leg, wrap it behind your right, lower down into your curtsy, and then just a little curtsy pull, shoulders back. It's up a little and down. Up a little and down. Exhale, square your hips right to the front. Four, switch legs. Three, then move both knees deeper. Two, one, center, curtsy, right leg, it's down. Hold, track your knee over mid toes. It's up a little, and down, up, down. Exhale, steer your torso forward. Hog head back to your legs together for still. And four, alternate. Three, we'll build a hammer curl into plus two. And one, let's go together. It's curtsy, stand, curtsy, stand, in, exhale, in, exhale. Option, hammer. With that momentum, lean with your heart. In, exhale, in, exhale. Yes, curtsy. Lunge with an option biceps. Four, three, two, back step. Squats. One. Let's go. It's lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Stay with it. Exhale. Push. Exhale. Push. I'll come squat with you. Lift. You got it. Stay with it. Push out of your mouth. Push out of your perceived edge. You got this. We're in it together. Heart hug. Eight. Seven. Get your glutes down. Push her hugs all the way. Four, come on, DC. Three, extend two, stay with me. You got it, you're so strong. One and hold low. All right, this is your base. What is this? This is your base. Just like when we test our comfort zone, we need to know what our home base is. That moment to come back in before we tread back out. So stay here, or to bed, roll. It's back, roll, stand, leg lift, squat, Roll, stand, alternate leg lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Stay with it. Again, your base is right here. If you have a sensitive back, stay right here. The motion. Again, remember what you say no to highlights your yes. Feel the boundary to empower your challenge zone. Keep going. Push. We're in the cardio zone right now. And in that zone, practice our mantra. One more breath. One more breath. See what's on the other side. And if you can keep moving, come on, push. Four. Three. Three. Two. Come on, get up your boots, you got it. One, one more. All right, mommy, kick. It's mommy time, mommy time. Draw your arms parallel to the floor. Kick your legs to the front of the room. Take the hop out for less intensity. You've got to push. Breathe. Use wonder and curiosity. Keep pushing through. What are you burning away? What old habits are you ready to let go? Again, what are you practicing for? Push, push, push. Four. Three, jump rope in two, one, just jump it out. Team has to jump, pivot to face, the long distance of your mat. Keep jumping, I'm gonna come check up on you. I'm gonna move the music up a little bit. Emily, remind me to turn it down. Four, three, pause, and two, one, three, do a high spin. It's three, two, one, cut knee to elbow. Three, two, one, knee to elbow. Let's pick it up. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bend your knees, lift your chest, soften your face, push, curiosity, and wonder. As you enter your challenge zone, push, go, breathe, feel, four, three, two, one, jack it out. Up, up, 
going to flex your chest. Good, you got it. Stay with it. No asking to go apart. They come together in due time. Four. Three. Yogi bike. And two. One to the right. It's right, center, left, center. Let's. the 
side with your knee in line with your hip. Crocodile your arms. Soften your pelvis down to the mat. This is the first hug right here. Just accept your weight down to the floor. Feel content, stay here, or pick yourself up so you're on your forearms. Take your left hand and thread it underneath you, and then open your right arm up until your right hip stacks over your left. If your right elbow doesn't touch the floor, it's okay, just breathe into the stretch. Sometimes noticing how softening our core can deepen our twist. Add energy to your next two breaths. Sliver onto your back and shimmy your knees into your heart. Wrap your arms around your legs and feel the boundary of your forehead against your knees. This week, what are you practicing for? Allow perceived boundaries, breakdowns to be the lesson for a huge blessing on the other side. Take a breath in and trust. Exhale, relinquish. Abduct your arms and legs. AV duck them away from your center. For today, flip your palms face up. 
and rest well. One minute, I don't mind the time before we navigate into our simple morning meditation. whole body. Without moving a muscle yet, tune into all five senses. Right now, the soft gaze or eyes closed on your back, swallow a few times, and tap into your sense of taste. What do you taste? Again, without moving a muscle, navigate your attention to the breath moving in and out of your nose. And what do you smell? The soft gaze, your eyes closed. What do you see? What are you present to in your inner gaze? the air, the morning air, wherever you are in the world, the air against your skin and your sense, feeling of touch, your inner body and your beautiful outer body. What do you hear? Do you hear your capacity to speak and hear your truth. Your capacity to locate knots, unconscious patterns. And as you locate these marks, to embrace them, to empathetically listen. And from that space to interrupt the pattern to use your no to highlight your yes and from that place of acceptance to proceed forward with conscious compassionate action for yourself for all beings everywhere. If you would rather keep your meditation, your practice on your back and inquiry, please feel free to stay there. To shift into our last morning exercise. And again, invitation to go about your day if you need. Otherwise, just a few minutes to Move yourself out of your final rest. Shimmer your breath against your body, your fingers and toes wiggle down. Reach your arms up and overhead. Good morning Monday stretch. For those of us in the United States and wherever you are again, you know, wherever you are, whatever time, stretch out of your perfect state, full stretch. Breathe in, exhale, roll to your side body supported rest.
rise up. And Emily, I would love for you to tap, type in this question on the chat function. If you don't mind, I'll read slow. Elena Brower, I'm doing her practice journal. And this question was something I was with all weekend and it brought me into the challenge learning zone. And it's allowing me to come back to that question is what am, what am I practicing for? What is the lesson? How do I trust this challenging time? Consider your century old self. A hundred year old, you are now a hundred years old. Take a moment to connect with that future you. So Emily, connect to the future century you, a hundred years old. Write a letter or a poem or a song to yourself. Now from that century long perspective, at that age of a hundred, what is your conception of presence what is your conception of presence as it relates to your highest service in life? What does serving yourself and others have to do with freedom? What does serving yourself and others have to do with freedom? And finally, what is the most important message that future 100 100 year old self has for you right now thank you Emily. so as you connect to the most important message that century old self has for you in your true abode your true nature right now what message is that takes three slow breaths of inquiry of what that message is. And in that beautiful perspective, dear sweet friends, may you show up in this day that you're on with not only perspective, but a commitment to do the work, to embrace the fire, to rub old habits against new conscious being. So rub your palms together if you like. If you're still with me, rub, rub, rub. Feel the fire, the heat. And from that fire and that heat, latch on to your heart hug. And from the warmth of my heart to the power of your strong heart, dear friends, I wish you many warm blessings today and this week. Put your palms together at your strong heart. Bow your chin to your heart. Namaste. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you, sweet friends. It is uh, two minutes before the 75 minute mark. If you have questions about Yoga Sculpt, if you like the Tibetan roll with the alternate sidekick, whether you have questions about an exercise, you liked it, or you weren't sure what an exercise was about, you can type it in right now. Emily and I will be able to look at those later and now and get back to you. Um, but thanks for the thumbs up and thanks for waking up so early on a Monday. Those of you that stayed for the inquiry, the meditation, and the 100-year-old self-inquiry, thank you. Marielle, thank you so much. <laughs>